It's spooky time, and you know what time spooky time is, because spooky time be spooky. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back in Magic Voxel once again. It's been a while, uh, and we're doing some spooky uh, cobwebs. We're doing some, some spider webs, there's some cobwebs, there's some good webs, there's some bad webs, there's some Spider-Man webs. So... Like I said, spooky time, big time, October, hello. So we're going to go ahead and hit delete, and we're going to make sure all that's gone because we don't need it no more, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the third palette here, go to the first color in that palette, and then we're going to go on down to color and change it to almost white. We're going to make it a little a little bit, a little bluish. So we're going to put a little blue saturation in there and maybe darken it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to zoom into our canvas here by using my middle mouse button, just scrolling in. Uh, my scroll wheel rather uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go to attach on V for voxel and we're just gonna do some some webbing so we're gonna do like this we can actually go ahead and hit orthog orthogonal sorry and hit the top up here at the top view on this cube and then you can see straight down like it's pixel art which is much easier to do because this is kind of like pixel art you know so we're just gonna do something like this um, make it like a little X right and you could do this just with straight lines which that looks kind of cool maybe a little bit um, but it looks kind of, it's, it's getting kind of sloshy together. Uh, so I don't really like the way it looks. I think it looks better if you do maybe something like this. Like that, right? And you kind of just connect them like that without having these little end pieces. Because those end pieces kind of ruin it, you know? They kind of mess it up for everybody else, you know? They get a they get a bad rap because they mess it up. That's why. We'll go ahead and grab this little se selection tool. Drag a box over top of all that. And then hit this move icon. Then we can go from this angle pull it upwards and then we can go to rotate and we can actually rotate this on the y and on the z flip it around and then move it backwards there you go that's our first spider web right there which looks kind of which looks kind of squarish which is nice because that's the style i was going for and now i want to do one of the corner ones because corner ones are pretty sweet so we'll go up to the top here we'll go up to the corner hit uh, orthogonal once again go to the front facing view this time by hitting this little front piece and then go to attach and then we can go ahead and just draw uh, like a little line like this and like this and then we can just kind of connect them. Right? We can use the line tool for this one, which is pretty cool. So we use a line tool. So we'll just do like that. Perfect. And then we'll skip a line so it's not like that. And then we'll do like this over and over again. All the way through. And then we can go ahead and erase this line and a couple of the other ones. Where is this going to lay? Uh, yeah, like that. And then there, there, there. Okay, perfect. So now, go ahead and uh, all of those look good. There we go. Perfect. And then we can attach it all the way through. It looks cool. And then we can extend this by dragging some of these down. Maybe some of these are falling down, falling off. A little piece right there, disconnected piece. Uh, maybe uh, we'll do like another little loop somewhere. Maybe like that. I like it. Looking cool. And I want to erase this piece as well. So that looks pretty swell. I like it. You can even go ahead and shade this, give it a little bit more definition. Um, by going ahead and actually we can unselect everything because this is still selected so go to select none and now we can go to the second color in our palette and hold down alt oh sorry hold down no 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 stop no hold, go to the move that back move, move it move it back there we go all right so hold down control sorry and then drag hmm, alt it's not control it's alt oh man it's been a while <laughs> go to the second palette Hold down Alt and click and drag from that color to this one to, to duplicate that color. And then we'll just go ahead, darken it a little bit, and then saturate a little bit more to put it more to the blue. And now we can go ahead and go to Paint on Voxel. And then we can just paint these edges like this in there to give some definition away from that. A little bit right here as well. Uh, now, you can also, of course, now these are pretty you know, like small resolution kind of wise. So if you want to make a bigger spider web, of course, you can also do that. I'll do that real quick because these are kind of like stubby and they don't look like, like you know, like super big spider webs. Move that out the way for a second. Uh, I'm going to turn, I'm going to choose rect for this uh, select box so I can just select everything that's right there and then go ahead and move it uh, up against the wall there. So there, now we go. Let's go ahead and make a bigger one. So I'm going to expand our, our, our canvas by uh, 80, no, not 800, 80, 80, and 80 in every direction. Now it's bigger. Uh, I can move both of these back now, selecting both of those, using the move tool and just grabbing and pulling up. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn on mirror because these are, uh, these are going to help us out with some mirror ring techniques, which looks pretty swankalicious. Go ahead and uh, we can just draw a nice little circle like this. Uh, like that. Eh, it's not really circly. 
draw a little bit of a better circle. You can do like an oval or a circle or whatever you really want. No spider web is perfect, but I'm going to see if I can get it just more circle-y than that. Uh, that was... I'll just do that one. That's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and erase these pieces. We don't need like all of these edge pieces because I don't want double edges on any of that. So then we can go ahead in the center um, and do the same thing. So we need another circle or another kind of circle rather <laughs> and erase these pieces. And of course, uh, once we've done all the circles that we want to do, we just go ahead and drag out a line like that. Drag out another line, another line, maybe another one right here. Uh, and we can just continue that all the way out. And we can erase any pieces that are sticking out too. So, and we can just clean this up after we're done. So, erase that. Clean up that piece, that piece. You know, all this stuff, all this junk that we don't really need is in the way. Uh, like all these double edges and whatnot. So, we'll just get rid of all that stuff. And we should have a pretty clean spider web once we're all done, which is pretty cool. So, spooktastic. It's very spooktastic, boys and girls. It's uh, so spooktastic, you got scared watching this video. I know you did. Don't try and lie to me. Don't lie to me. You've been scared this whole video. You were so scared, you didn't even know what to do. You didn't even know what to do. You were so scared. We're going to go ahead and actually attach some extra pieces right there. Reinforce this a little bit. Uh, like that. And in the center, I'll just kind of do another one of that. In the circle there. Uh, so yeah, that's another spider web. It's a bigger spider web. You can make these as big as possible. The bigger you go, the better they'll look too. So like if I even make an even bigger one. So if I just move that one over. Move, no, move it over. There we go. If I move that one over, we bump our canvas size up. Which I think the biggest is 255, 255, 255. It's 126, not 255. Alright, so if I real quick grab all these, move them over. You see, the bigger we make them, the more of a spider web they look. I'm not going to mirror these just because it's going to be super quick. But you can even make abnormal shapes like this because, I mean, it's a spider web. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to look perfect. So I'll just put a couple lines through there like that. This is gonna, they're all going to overlap with each other, but that's fine. Um, through here. Through here. You can just see, like I said, the bigger you do these, the, the more like a spider web they're going to look. Uh, small voxel art is difficult with this type of thing because um, you have so many voxels you need to get in a specific place. And that specific place has too many, like, it doesn't have enough voxels in it. So when you do things that are smaller like this, then it, it becomes a little more difficult. But you can see, I'm doing a really sloppy job right now, but you can see how uh, you can get some pretty spooky, some pretty spooktastic spider webs. Okay, guys, just you gotta believe me. You gotta believe me how scary this is. I know people, I, I, I go around, I tell people spider webs, voxel spider webs is the scariest thing I've ever seen. And they don't believe me. Well, what, what do you gotta say for yourself now? What do you gotta say for yourself now? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. It's so freaky. I don't even know what to say. It's so freaky. I don't even understand how freaky voxel art could be. I didn't even know it could be this scary. You know, I mean, you know, how many friends I make when I when I make these when I make these spider webs. A million. That's how many I make. <laughs> All right. That looks really good. My favorite one, of course, is the biggest one. This one looks pretty cool. The, 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 this one looks pretty sweet, too. Um, and, you, and then, of, of course, you can go ahead and shade this the same way. So we can just do a real quick shading job, a tip for you. Pro tip, you can go ahead and just go ahead and uh, choose paint on Vox mode and just get a swippity swipe all the way through there. Get just some different colors in there. Just swipe in random directions. If you don't feel like going ahead and hand shading all of this, because that's a lot to hand shade. And by the way, if you have some of these sticky up pieces, which actually look kind of cool, to be honest with you, I think I might leave that. That looks actually really sweet. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. But if you don't want to leave it, what you can do is you can go to the side view like that. Uh, go to select, make sure it's on none, and then drag a wrecked box over top of all that. Hit delete. Boom. Instant. Instant, instant, flat, instant, flat voxels. There you go. Perfect. But I'm going to leave it because I think it looks actually really cool. I thought I would hate it, but it looks actually really sweet. I don't know why it looks so cool, but that looks awesome. Anyway. Um, all right, so let me get rid of these jokers because nobody likes these. These are terrible. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. The bigger one's better. Get out of here. Go. Leave. All right, so uh, that's it for today's spooktastic tutorial. It was a spooky one. Definitely a spooky one. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep for a couple hours after this. Um, so I'll see you boys and girls in the next one. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it until next time. But until then, bye-bye.